So let's go on with the next part of activity one, activity 1.2, and that's to locate various areas. We're going to look in the project browser for a bunch of different views, and then we're going to look at a new ribbon. So that would be kind of cool. So let's take a look. When you open this file up, it comes out on what's called the baseline level, and that just shows property lines. The floor plan level looks blank. We'll see later on it's not quite that blank. Um, Roof plan, height plan, existing. This is this is existing site plan for new construction, and we'll see that there's these elevations that show what the different elevations are. We're gonna have to move some of those around, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's one of the cool things about Revit that as you develop your mass model for conceptual work, you can make some changes pretty quickly. So those are the those are the views that we've got. And then there's going to be a new ribbon for us to look at, massing and site. And on this, we're gonna we're not gonna take these basic ones over here on the left. We could, uh, but we're gonna do a topo surface. We're eventually gonna um, we put in a property line. But that's the main thing. We're gonna work with a topo surface on this ribbon. So there we go. That's how that's how we're set up for um, for this file so far.